Do you have the desire to dramatically improve your effectiveness in both your career and personal life? If so, you came to the right place because today we will be discussing Peter F. Drucker's Managing Oneself. Don't forget to go to our website at www.3minutesmarter.com following the video for free bonus material. But enough with the intro, let's become three minutes smarter. <laughs> oneself, Drucker suggests the reader ask themselves five questions. Question number one, what are my strengths? Most people think they know what they are good at, and they are usually wrong. Looking back in time, individuals were typically born into their line of work. They did what their parents did. But in today's modern world, we choose what we want to do, and there are a lot of choices. So how can we figure out the best option for a career? We must know what our strengths are. In other words, find out what you do well, and then find a job that utilizes those skills. Question number two. How do I perform? To determine how you best perform, you have to ask yourself two questions. Question number one, am I a reader or am I a listener? John F. Kennedy was a reader and he would order his staff to brief him in memos before any meeting. Other presidents, however, are listeners, meaning they absorb the spoken word better than the written. And the second question, how do I learn? Winston Churchill was looked at as a poor student because the way he learned was through writing out thoughts rather than listening to a teacher provide a lecture. In other words, he knew how he learned best and he stuck with it. So there are some other questions you can ask yourself too. Do I work best with teams or am I a loner? And do I produce results as a decision maker or an advisor? The key takeaway is don't change yourself, but figure out how and where you perform best and put yourself in those situations. Question number three, what are my values? If you want to understand what your values are, ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? Now ask yourself, do these values align with your organization's values? Strucker states, values, in other words, are and should be the ultimate test. Question number four, where do I belong? Some individuals have a specific path and plan from birth. Usually these individuals are gifted in areas of mathematics, athletics, or music. But most people don't know what they want to do until they're well past their mid-20s. But at this point in life, those individuals should at least know where they don't belong. By answering the three questions asked earlier, Drucker states, Successful careers are not planned. They develop when people are prepared for opportunities because they know their strengths, their method of work, and their values. Knowing where one belongs can transform an ordinary person into an outstanding performer. Question number five, what should I contribute? This contribution can be to your organization, to your family, to your world. So to answer this question, think back to your previous responses. Given my strengths and my values, the way I perform, how can I make the greatest contribution to what needs to be done? We hope you found the last three minutes beneficial. Please visit our website at www.3minutesmarter.com for free bonus material following this episode. If you want to purchase a copy of this book for your personal collection, click the link in the description for a great deal. And don't forget to subscribe and like for more great content. Thank you for becoming 3 Minutes Smarter.